Well, hey everybody. One question that I really had when I was setting up my Yashin Wizard, actually before I even got to setting it up, and I would I would see people uh, like Stu from UAV Futures, love you Stu man. But in his videos, he you know he'll mention Beta Flight and Clean Flight and a lot of other people's videos as well. What the heck is Beta Flight and what the heck is Clean Flight and who cares? And what does that mean to me? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. First of all, inside your quad is a flight controller. It's basically the brain of the quad. It's like a little, you know, square, about two inch square microchip. And that is the brains of the quad. And that is what you can program. And the way that you program it uh, to make the quad fly differently, depending on how you like to have it set up, the way that you program it is by using an application on your computer. One application is called Clean Flight. The other application is called Beta Flight. Now, now you're probably wondering, well, what's the difference between Clean Flight and Beta Flight and which one's better and, you know, which one should I use? Basically, the difference between Clean Flight and Beta Flight is that Clean Flight is a more stable kind of uh, software to use. Uh, the reason being that it doesn't have updates as often, but it also has fewer bugs that need to be fixed. Um, and whereas Beta Flight is going to be like your cutting edge technology in terms of cool stuff that you can do with your quad, especially once you're way more advanced than I am. And um, but the, on the flip side, there might they might come out with uh, new updates that aren't exactly they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. So basically, I think you're going to be better off going with Clean Flight as a beginner, um, and then maybe once you get the hang of just the, the basic stuff and understand more stuff, maybe try Beta Flight. It really doesn't matter as a beginner. I mean, your Clean Flight works just fine. There's not going to be anything, uh, as far as I can tell, that you're really going to want from Beta Flight as a beginner. Now you're probably wondering, well, okay, I understand what these apps are now. How do I get them on my computer? Well, you basically you just go to the Google Chrome using the Google Chrome browser and you go to the app store on there and you just download it. And if you don't use Chrome, I'm not sure what you do, honestly, because I use Chrome and that seems to be what people are using. You probably just find it by Googling, you know, beta flight app or clean flight app. But in case you've never uh, downloaded any apps, on Chrome before, as I had not. I was like, what, how does that work? Uh, we're gonna go through it step by step and I'm gonna show you how. So let's enter computer mode. All right, now that we are in computer mode or virtual mode, now that we're uh, on here and I'm recording the screen here, we've just opened um, a new window in Chrome, Google Chrome. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down right here to the apps button. By the way, this is the first time I've done screen recording before. Um, so that's cool. Hope this works out. Okay. And you can see right here, I have the clean flight app already in there, but if you wanted to get it, uh, and this is, if you didn't just Google search it, you can go down here to the bottom right corner of the, uh, screen type or click on the web store icon. Do, 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 do computing. All right. And then in the search box on the Top left, we're going to type in, uh, let's type in beta, beta flight. And, you know, I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory as far as whether you want to get clean flight or beta flight. You just, you know, say which one you want. And that's the one we want, beta flight right there, beta flight configurator. And we're going to click add to Chrome. And it's checking stuff. And then it says, hey, do you want this thing to let it do that? And we're like, well, yeah, we kind of have to because, uh, that's what makes the app work, right? And then it's checking again. All right, fantastic. While it's doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what you could do is you could just do a Google search and you could just say, you know, like clean flight uh, app like that. And then kaboomity boom boom. And uh, it didn't, it didn't go through, did it? Did it go through? Okay, that was about to be really embarrassing. Okay, cool. All right, it went through. Fantastic. Fantastic. And there you go. It's basically a link to the same uh, place. And uh, 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 like I said, I don't know currently whether you can get 
the app if you don't have Chrome. I'm not really sure, uh, to be completely honest with you, but I guess you just get Chrome. You just probably go to your app, just Google search. You know what? Yeah, Google search it. Google search how to install Chrome. Okay, here we go. Kaboom. And then we're back to the app section, and there we go. We've got our apps. I'm currently using Clean Flight, so click on the Clean Flight app, and it's going to load up, and it's like, do, 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 computing, computing. There we go. There we have it. All right, cool. And then from here, this is going to be is this is what your interface looks like, and this is how you are going to uh, you're going to connect your quad right there, and you're going to click connect. But hey, you know what? We're going we're going to talk about that in another video because uh, you know it's let's just save this do this thing one step at a time, okay? Um, but just for future reference, in case you're you know wondering. You're going to connect your quad here. This is where you're going to uh, use the firmware flasher. And this is these are the drivers that you're probably going to need to get. Again, don't freak out. We're going to talk about that in a video very soon to come. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, if you like this video, give it a likey like. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any other problems for, or questions as far as clean flight versus beta flight and all that stuff, uh, put them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them um, as best I can or maybe somebody else with more knowledge than I do than more with more who is someone who is more knowledgeable than I am in this subject will be able to help you possibly. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.